The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, The Experience Pros. Does telling your story so that it gets heard, understood, and remembered sometimes feel like mission impossible? And Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros Radio Show at this time every week with a tip to help you tell your story. Welcome back, Jerry. Thanks. Good to be here. All right. So what's our storytelling tip for this week? Uh, storytelling tip this week is to quit trying to be perfect. Oh. What? But I try to be perfect all the time. Well, if you're, you know, anybody who writes often runs into what is probably the most common uh, source of writer's block, other than just not being ready to write, but is is something that I call the uh, the perfect draft syndrome. You know, you can't bring any sentence and put it on that computer screen unless it's perfect. This is going to be painful. Yeah, and yeah, the problem speaking. is that you can sit there and do that for hours and hours and back in the days when you did it with a typewriter and you had paper you ended up all these little wads of paper and right? trash yeah, can yeah. and that sort of thing and I used so to do that and i still do it yeah pull it out crumple it up and toss oh, it I everybody need, need everybody does it in fact i you know i often when i was a reporter i would often spend as much time on my lead paragraph my first paragraph as i did on the rest of the story and Talking to my colleagues in the newsroom, I wasn't the only one. It was very common. There's a lot of pressure on that lead paragraph, Jerry. Well, there is, but there's also a pressure called a deadline, deadline. you know, <laughs> and so and it and it keeps getting closer. And if you're staring at a blank screen, so I, you know, it's just I, what I suggest you do is if you find yourself in that perfect draft syndrome where you just can't get that first paragraph um, down. There are a couple ways that I have found that work pretty well for me. In fact, they work really well for me. And the first one is, if I can find somebody to talk to, I like to do that. But if not, I'll talk to myself and I really just ask myself, so what is it that I'm trying to say? Do you have that conversation out loud, Absolutely. Jerry? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Do no. you answer yourself? Absolutely. In fact, I used to write a lot of speeches. And when I was at the phone company, you know, I would... I drink a lot of Diet Coke during the day, and of course you have to recycle the Diet Coke. So I had this path that I would make between my office and yeah. another part of the of the office, and I would often use that time to figure out what the next line was going to be in a speech. And I remember talking to yourself, talking to myself. And I remember one day there was a, a woman who had her nine or ten year old daughter, and I could tell just from the way she looked at she this, that my mother works with a crazy man. Yeah. Uh, well, I was just going to say, is is the room is the PR room just full of all these conversations going on? but not with any other people. Like, everybody's just well, chatting. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I mind mostly. I do most of mine in my head unless I have the headset of the phone? It, it, well, if I talk to somebody else, of course, I do that. But if I'm alone, I will often just do it in my head, although I do sometimes say it out loud. Yeah, Charlie, <laughs> I think we should need to change the uh, music from uh, Mission Impossible to the Twilight Zone. Oh, <laughs> well, that too. Okay. And then, well, but so that's one way to do it is just um, ask yourself, what is it I want to say? And I find that often works for getting past that initial block. Another one is sometimes I will, if I'm really stuck on that lead paragraph, is I'll just start writing the rest of the story. I'll start sort of in the middle, and I have more than once, and, and, and again, I don't think this is that uncommon from talking to other people in the newsroom when I was in the newsroom. I will often write the rest of the story and then come back and write the lead because by then I've said pretty much what I need to say, and all I have to do is figure out a catchy way to get other people to entice them, I hope, to read it. Oh, now, see, for some That's of us advice. who are pretty analytical and linear, it's step one, step two, step three. So that could cause... Um, I, I actually like That's why that. you creative types are so creative. Yeah, it's true. You know, start in the middle. What well, a novel idea. Yeah, the other thing to keep in mind is that editing is not a separate activity from writing. Editing is a very important part of writing. And so if you're trying to make that first draft perfect, if you can let go of that... You're going to get that first draft on paper or on the computer faster and easier. And then if you have the opportunity, you know, go away and let it sit for a while. Like I like to, I love to get something done and then let it sit overnight and then come back to it the next morning when I'm fresh. But now instead of starting with a blank piece of paper, I'm starting with something that I can tweak and make better. And I'm much likely much more likely to get something that's close to what I consider perfect that way than I am by sitting there agonizing over that first paragraph forever. 
Absolutely. You know, and Jerry, I think one of the one of the benefits that you had when you learned some of these tips was you did have deadlines because the newspaper had to get out or the magazine, you know, deadlines. And for many of us, if we're writing our blog posts or updating our website or even doing um, a press release, because we don't we don't impose our own deadlines on ourselves, we will allow perfection to keep us from ever finishing or really even ever getting off the ground. And so this is really valuable for those of us who don't have, uh, haven't self-imposed our own deadlines. Well, except I guess I would encourage you to put deadlines on most yeah, of absolutely, what you're writing. Because absolutely. Because I, I think about 98.6% of what gets written gets written because of a deadline of some kind. I mean, I maybe it's a little lower than that, but 98.6, that must be normal. Yeah, really, exactly. Uh, well, let me just say, uh, Jerry, you came in and you stepped all over my toes today. Uh, but nobody <laughs> steps on my toes and makes me say thank you like you do. Because uh, because you make me better, and and folks, I hope that Jerry is making you better as well. Um, I, I'm just really impressed. Oh, absolutely! And so next time you find yourself stuck trying to tell your story, ask yourself if you're trying to be perfect, and uh, you know, and find out what's getting in the way. An article for today's storytelling storytelling tips. So sorry, um, can always found be found on the blog at Jerry Brown. PR.com. Absolutely. As the late journalist, screenwriter, and Den Denver native Gene Fowler once said, writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Keep your forehead dry and hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR to help you write your blog posts, social media postings, articles, press releases, PowerPoint presentations, and more. Plus, Jerry can help you edit what you've already written. Jerry Brown at JerryBrownPR.com. Once again, you can reach Jerry at Jerry at jerrybrownpr.com or by phone at 303-594-8016. That's 303-594-8016. Folks, don't go anywhere when we return. More positive business talk coming up on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com.